Hi everyone, Dan Macro with AMS Performance. Today we're talking about AccuTech tuning with the VR30 platform. We've got our Red Alpha, uh, the AccuTech Bluetooth module, a laptop, our key dongle. We're just about ready to get started here. Using the instructions that were supplied via email, download it and install the AccuTech Pro ECU application. Once the Pro ECU software has been installed, it is now time to connect to your vehicle. Plug your AccuTech Bluetooth module into the computer and the OBD port in the vehicle. Plug in your USB security key. Click on Tools, then Detect Vehicle. Once the vehicle type is detected, select Program Engine ECU in the dialog box that appears and press OK. Press the button labeled ECU Query. Copy and paste the complete information that's now present on the right side of the window and send that to your AMS sales representative. So now that we've pulled the ECU query, we can email that back to AMS and the tuner can then build a file for you. While you're waiting for your calibration to be built, you'll need to apply your AccuTech license to the laptop. This license is required by AccuTech and must be installed in your vehicle's ECU prior to flashing any calibrations. Insert your USB dongle into an open port and run the Pro ECU application. Click Help, then click AccuTech Update. Once the update of the application has been completed, the new license will automatically be downloaded and applied to your software. Once you receive the new calibration, along with your stock calibration, save these files in a place you won't forget. I recommend placing both calibrations into the install directory of the Pro ECU applications. Your desktop is also another good location. Now it's time to program the ECU. Plug the Bluetooth module into the OBD port of the vehicle and the USB into the computer as well as the security key. Make sure all the accessories are off, air conditioning, headlights, seat warmers. If any of these are left on, an error will display during the flashing process. For this first flash, it's recommended that you connect to a battery charger. The first flash usually takes about 10 minutes and during that time the radiator fans are run at full speed. This could very quickly drain a battery. If the battery does die during the flashing process, you'd be left with an ECU that is not operable. Once the battery charger is hooked up, navigate to Tools, Detect Vehicle, and then select Program Engine ECU. Click the button that is labeled Choose ROM File and navigate and select the Red Alpha calibration that was supplied to you. Once the calibration is selected, click on the Program ECU button. If the ECU does not have a license installed, you will be prompted to use the license that was previously downloaded and applied to your software. Follow the on-screen prompts. It will tell you when to key the vehicle off and back on again. Once the process has been completed, the application will ask you if you want to clear DTCs. Press yes and follow the on-screen prompts. Your ECU will now be flashed with the supplied Red Alpha calibration. Your vehicle will be able to be driven, but it is not recommended to go wide open throttle or into positive boost pressure until proper data logs have been sent and reviewed by the AMS engine calibrator. Now we can get started with data logging. To start the process, open the AccuTech app on your phone, go to settings, click units, and change speed to mile an hour, pressure to PSI, and temperature to degrees Fahrenheit. Once that is finished, go back to the main screen, click on My Car, then click Data Logging. Once you're in the Data Logging screen, click the Settings button at the top right hand corner. I'd recommend starting from the very top and comparing the AccuTech app to the Data Logging parameter list that was supplied via email. Once the parameters have been set up, click Done. Now we need to start Data Logging. So once you go back to the data logging page at the bottom, you'll notice it says start. Click start and begin your first 20 minute driving log. Just a quick note on data logging, the more information the better. As long as the data logging parameters are set up correctly in the AccuTech app, I don't care if the log is 20 minutes or five minutes. I, I want you to be as safe as possible. So if you're going down the drag strip, you don't have to turn off the data logging. Log the whole pass, log all the way back to the pits, then stop the data log when it's safe.